Hello everyone and welcome back to the final round of the Corn Ferry Tour. It's the fourth and final round of the Summit Championship and I'm currently in the lead. Uh, I don't know how that happened since I played very badly on the front nine of the third round but I played very well on the last uh, nine holes and I managed to go back into the lead. So, as I was saying before, this course uh, gives you good opportunities for birdies uh, at Cloudcrest Country Club. Uh, you just have to, to keep it together, I guess, and hopefully we will do that here today. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. We're here at the Summit Championship. Today's coverage is about to begin. Please, you could join us for this final round action. Hello everyone, I'm Luke Elvey. Great to have my mate Rich Bean beside me. And Rich, as this next player begins their round, what do you think of their chances here today? Well, they start off with a very small lead, and so they're going to be cognizant of that. There's not a lot of room for error, but in saying that, they do have the lead, so they can't afford to make a mistake somewhere along the line if it should happen to come up. But in saying that, they just don't want to make any mistakes. It's going to be a difficult day all around. Yeah, I would, to see what unfolds. <laughs> I would say it's probably no room for error today. Need to play well throughout the round. No win today, though, so that will make things easier. And, and yes, what today. a good start. Perfect swing timing. On the middle of the fairway here. One win is good, but two wins would be great. So let's add some loft to this. We're gonna actually fade it as well. Looks to be it's a bit slow, but I think that will be fine. It will stop quickly, probably. And yes, what a kick as well. That's a terrific. Terrible, I was going to say, a terrific shot. And we have a great opportunity for birdie here. Yeah, as he was saying, no birdies on the first in the previous rounds. But there we go. Lovely start to this round. Just what I needed. So in the last round, I made a mess of this hole and bogeyed it, but now... And two shots ahead of Carter Casey. Of course, he will need to drop one placement further in order for me to win the entire tour. But yeah, we'll see about that. So a bit fast, but that should be good. Hopefully those trees aren't in the way. It doesn't look like it, right? No. But this is a long approach. It's a bit fast, but it should stay on the green. Hopefully. Yeah, it won't roll down all the way. It's a bit further away from the flag than I wanted to, but... Yeah, that, that was a difficult difficult team sure. placement as well. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still Oh, 31 good. feet, so this is my favorite distance. You know what I mean if you saw the last round. Now turn. Get in the hole. Yes. Well, Still my favorite distance. <laughs> what a putt. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that, shot. that was the best one thus far, I think. So much break on it. Look at that. I didn't even see the hole for the shadows, but it went in. Currently in first position. The lead continues to grow. And three shots this ahead now. Amazing. Great start with back-to-back -back birdies here. To this hole. That's a par four. That's going to be in the bunker. Not a good tee shot here. Hopefully we can uh, bring this in close anyway. 
It's not the longest of oh, approach approaches. Any chance of getting out of this bunker? Uh, so yeah, we'll really go with a de-lofted nine iron. Bunker. It's, uh, she's deep, boys. She's deep. So it should kick forward a bit. Yeah, not quite the distance, but if it's around 30 feet, we know well, what what to do. The on the 31 feet, there we go. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Now turn. That's the right pace. Fish, <laughs> there we go. Well yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Around 30 feet is the perfect distance. And we have three straight birdies starting this round. So... <laughs> I have a pretty mixed game, I think. Last time I played so poorly on the front nine, and now I've started with a perfect record here. And now Mel Hodge has caught Car Carter Casey, so that's good. We went into the water here last time, so I do not want to do that today. So yeah, felt that way too slow. That's going to be in the bunker. Better than the water, though. Hopefully we can uh, bring this up and down for par. Here's a chance to get up and down from the green side bunker. I'm telling you, I would blame the caddy. Bogey here yesterday, looking at the same score today. Okay, phase one complete. Uh, you've got to make a good putt here. Ooh, difficult to say Just how this breaks. Between here and the hole. This one's looking good. Ooh. Just made it. And we only have threes this far. It would be nice to continue to only hitting three shot holes. Still three shots ahead as well, so... And here we have the fifth, par five. That looks good. So, I... Cut it over that tree today a bit. I haven't really thought about doing that before, and hopefully this will bring it close enough to to actually hit the green here. It's not impossible, but that's a deep bunker in front of it. But we're gonna go for it. It's a bit slow, but hopefully it stays in the fairway. No, rough, but hopefully first cut. No, heavy rough. <laughs> but we were in the heavy rough here last time as well, but managed to birdie this. So we're going to splash this. Hmm. How do I hit this? Something like this, maybe? Nope. Well, it rolled a bit further than I thought, so that's fine. What an opportunity to make a birdie. A good stroke. <sighs> Lips out. Yeah, I felt that straight away. Should have aimed it further to the right. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. But it's a tap in par, and uh, yeah, still a very good round this far. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. But Mel Hodge, 15 under now, so just two shots in front of him. But that was actually good that he birded that hole, because then he moved away one shot from uh, Carter Casey. Good drive. Should be on the fairway. But looking at, towards that green, I think the flag is on the left-hand side today. No, actually, yards. it's pretty central, so we're going to hit a lofted draw here. What a shot. That's a beauty. 
course we have these annoying shadows here, but not a lot of movement here, so should be able to make this. What? Did I push it that much? Or did I completely misread it? Anyway, another tap in par. But hopefully we didn't drop one or... Uh, yeah, Mel Hodge didn't birdie that one, but Carly Casey did birdie it, so he's back to second place. So we're going to add some loft to our three wood here. But that's too fast and that's going to be in the rough. Of course, it's not going to be the worst lie here, I don't think. Should be able to put this close. Quite have the right stuff there. Heavy rough though. Tempera Look at that, 65 to 72. We're gonna so hit splash. And hopefully have this stop quickly. Yep, yeah, that's good from there. Rolled away a bit too far for my liking, but seven feet to the hole. You gotta be able to make this. Ooh, nice line. Yes, perfect. Ooh, perfect putt. Like and it's another par. Hopefully we and can finish with uh, at least a par on that ninth hole, because that's a par five. We've the but if we can make one here as well, that would be nice. But this is quite a difficult it's hole, actually. Oh, but that's a good drive. Gorgeous. Perfect swing timing, middle of the fairway, over 300 yards, I would think. Yep, 308 yards, so we shouldn't have too far to the flag. 157. Little awkward ridge here. So hopefully we will be able to stop this close to the hole. Seven iron in hand. That's way too slow. So I've had too many of those really bad swing timings. Yeah, go into the bunker. Okay. This will be an awkward lie. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. So can we can we ship this? No. But I feel like a splash here is not the easiest of shots. With this lie, I mean. But yeah, let's try it. So we're up, and we have an opportunity to save par. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. This one's looking good. Oh, oh so that close. That would have been a nice one to hold. His next putt is for bogey. Damn it, first bogey of the day. And, after that effort, this is how the and now it's going to be close. And still in top spot after that Just hole. one shot ahead of Mel Hodge and Carter Casey. Yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back. Yeah, good opportunity to bounce back here with this par 5. It is a long one, so it's not the easiest par 5, but still. But then you can't put it in the bunker. It's like that ball had a magnet in it for the bunker. Damn it. So, as I was saying, my game is so up and down. I had this great start. But now... Not playing well at all. That looks like a difficult pin placement as well. Just... On the edge toward that deep bunker. So I think we'll just aim it up here. Hopefully have it stop quickly. Hopefully we'll make it to the green. No, that will stay. Yeah. Okay, roll off then. So no birdie here today, I guess. A bit short with that effort. 
but we can splash this, I think. Can't really put a full swing on it though, maybe a ship is better. Perfectly happy with that. Well, don't mind this par putt. It's on a good line. And there we go, another par, That's but I think Mel Hodge well will also have birdied this one. <coughs> and especially Cardi Casey, he always plays front, well. Oh no, okay. Cardi yeah, Casey no actually dropped one, just 14 under now. Keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that leader, people will pass him. Yes, good drive. And looking at that pin placement, we won't have too long of an approach here. So maybe we can put this close for birdie. From around 140 yards here. Yeah, that's going to be a bit too long, I think, but still going to be fine. So hopefully around 30 feet, right? <laughs> shot, that. No, that's just 15 feet, so half the distance. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. Come on. Yes, what a putt. Very important birdie. A great start to the back nine. Jan Mel Hodge also birdied that one, so it was an important birdie. Or actually, he might have birdied this hole, yeah. Because he's one hole ahead of me. Going with driver here today. Hopefully that will stay on the green and not go too far to the left. No, it's in the bunker. And this will be a difficult bunker shot, actually, because it's going downhill. And we have that water on the other side, so we can't go too far. We have this little ridge down to the hole, so this will roll a bit. Go over, go over. Go down. Yes, go down. Yeah, that's what I meant. This little ridge. It's a good thing that it rolled down. For hmm. Is this straight? Yes, it is. And, and a good birdie. And with it, an of his lead. Back -back so hopefully we can start with three birdies on the back nine as well. Two shots ahead now. Cardi Casey bouncing back to 15 under. So he's still scary. Hopefully, uh, Mel Hodge will... Play better than him. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right it's there. A bit slow, but I think that will be good. Yep, that looks good. Very good, actually. Not an easy tee shot. That's just inside the range. Well, this Twenty-two one feet to the hole. John, how do you see it? Well, guys, it's about twenty-two feet to go here. It's going to break a lot towards the hole there. Oh, lips out. Good attempt, though. And that should secure the par. Well done. A tapping par. That's how it looks. And yeah, three, three, three on the first three holes here as well. But of course, that was a par three. Carter Casey down to fourteen under. That's good. We're heading to par five here. So, decent tee shot. Of course, difficult pin placement here. So, I don't think we will be going for the green. Yeah, no, no chance. So, we're gonna hit... 
plywood, I guess, with a little bit of fade so it doesn't go too far. That should be good. Yep, perfect layup. And we should have around 50 yards left, I think. 62, actually. Hmm, so I think we'll go gap wedge and try to spin this back towards the hole. And then come back. Yes. What a shot. That dog will hunt. Just a full footer remaining. Looks good off. And there we go. Good birdie. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. Six Little birdies today. After that hole. 19 under. Mel Hobbs, 17 under. Cardi Casey, 15 under. This is starting to look now good. Off on this par four hole. But, of course, if you followed my previous videos, you know that I made a mess of the last round before. So, anything can still happen. I just need to keep it together and keep playing well. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed Sit down now. Way. Yes, what an approach. Well, they've certainly got the swing in the groove. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. And we have another birdie. So that's back to back birdies. Two in a row. So there. four birdies on the first five holes of the back nine. This so is quality play. Still on top. this is going really well, but last tournament I managed to have a triple bogey in a hole and uh, if I do that here yeah well you know what will happen good swing we'll go a bit too far so maybe I should have gone for six iron that went very far. Yeah, misread the situation there. There's a long way, but I tell you 40 what, feet I've to the cup. Before, so there's a chance. Just need to put this close. Bit of a double breaker here. Go in. Oh, <laughs> middle of the hole, but that was way too hard, so I was actually lucky there, but because if that hadn't hit the hole, it would probably have rolled off the green. But a good par. We're heading to 16. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it. Good drive. Should be on the fairway. Shot from around the 200 yard mark. Yeah, 200 yards to the hole, and this this will be good, I think. Opting for the hybrid, it's a bit fast, so it might go a bit long. Hopefully, it stops quickly. Yeah, very good shot. Should be able to two pass for par here. Well, that was fantastic. 19 feet to the cup. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Yeah, I felt that. Not a good read. This putt's about four feet from the hole. This one started out on a But good another tap in par. And in it goes for the par. And hopefully we're at least two shots ahead now going into the last two holes. Two holes to yeah, go, Luke. Can we are. Mel Hodge on 18 under, Carter Case at 16 under. It's time to begin so, 
this hole is come on now at this critical time I think we'll go five iron actually with that wind how much do you trust your swing do not want to make any stupid mistakes and go into the water here so yeah that's that's good oh, what a wonderful play leading with intent 148 to the flag Gonna have this stop quickly, hopefully. And choosing the eight iron here. So we'll go all the way up now. Good yes. There. Good shot. Can we birdie this? Well, that's right that would be draw. so good. Great shot from our leader. The iron play 14 feet. No, 13 feet. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. This one's dialed in. Go in. Yes. Such an important birdie. And we should have at least a two-shot lead going into the final hole. Actually, three shots ahead. And Mel Hodge is 18 under. Cardi Case is 16 under. This can... Yeah, Cardi... Or Mel Hodge has actually played his uh, last hole. So Cardi Casey will need a uh, an eagle. In order to catch him. That's slow though. Hopefully it stays on the fairway. Oh, that was going long. Damn it. But we, uh, we can just par this one and that will be fine. Those trees might be in the way though. This is a bit scary. It would require a massive fade. But can we... Will we go right up in the trees? If we do that, that would be terrible. Because then we would just... End up with this long approach. Should I go for a very big fade here? And the risk is ending up somewhere here. I think that's not too bad, actually. So we're gonna go for the... Big fade. Just to avoid those trees. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Uh, that won't get a good yep. eye, I'm sure. Okay, <laughs> luckily I didn't hit the stance there, but that's actually fine. Getting Should be able to third. have a par from here. But that lie is not good. So how do I hit this? Where will I end up with a flop shot? Actually, with a sand wedge flop, we should clear the bunker at least. Oh, that one! Yep, good shot. Hole. And we should be able to two putt for the win here. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader, and he can win the event here if he can hold this part. Oh, I like the look of this. And that's how you finish it. <laughs> what a putt and what a birdie. And uh, yeah, we finish as champions here on the Summit Championship. And hopefully we could have even won the entire Corn Ferry Tour. Let's wait and see here. folks at HB Studios. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. So I think we actually made it with the help of Mel Hodge. I'm not sure, I haven't really looked at the numbers, but it's possible. So let's see here. And yeah, I think, no, that's just for the day. Okay, so we will have to advance here and see what happens. Promoted to the PJ Tour, yeah. I finished in the top 25. 
So what do I say? I'm thrilled with the, this result and I can't wait to start playing on the PJ Tour. Okay, that's true. So will we not be able to see if we won or not? Welcome to the PJ Tour. Compete against the best professional golfers in the most challenging events of your career. Do you have what it takes to be number one? Uh, objectives. Qualify for the FedEx Playoffs, top 125, and the Tour Championship, top 30. Win the Tour Championship and take home the FedEx Cup. Yeah, that would be nice. So yeah, I will keep this uh, the same, I think. Or will... Yeah, this is interesting. Will it be more difficult now on the PJ Tour? Or will these difficult settings mean that it's the same as the Corn Fairy Tour? Because I feel like I want to have, have it one step harder now. Huh. But I'm gonna keep it on normal and hopefully going up to the PJ Tour will make it a bit more difficult. Okay, as a PJ Tour Pro, from now on you have the opportunity to take on sponsor contracts and unlock exclusive rewards. Since this is your first time, we have arranged uh, your first contract for you. Once this sponsor contract is complete, you will be free to browse and accept new contracts for a variety of brands. Okay, nice. Uh, so... Let's see, this is only PGA Tour trophies, right? I just want to know if I won the Corfrey Tour. Oh. Oh, here we go. Uh, total points. Yes, I won it. <laughs> Finally, I know that I actually won the Corn Fairy Tour. So that was a very good round uh, today. And uh, it led to me winning the entire Corn Fairy Tour, as you can see here. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you will stay tuned for videos com coming up from the PGA Tour from now on. And hopefully I will keep playing uh, pretty well so I have, uh, have the chance to win some tournaments here as well. As I said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.